Well, with us now, Susanna Frame uh, from King 5 Investigators. The latest investigation revealing no one inside Child Protective Services was held accountable after a child welf welfare case was handled so poorly it cost the state $20 million. Susanna, for those who have not seen the story, why don't you set us up for, for at the heart of this, this young girl? Right, Angela, last year I started reporting on the little girl known in legal documents as MD. She's a foster child. And what we were talking about last year is that um, she lived with a foster family in Lacey. And then a horrible change happened in her life. Uh, her caseworkers sent her to live with her dad in Texas, and he brutally beat her. And her life will never be the same. So we found out that the caseworkers, like I said, not only did they make mistakes, but they violated policies. They didn't really look into this dad's background and it was not a good one. Right. So this time around, what we wanted to know was, well, what happened? What did DSHS learn? So we asked for the records uh, in December of any disciplinary action or any investigations on the employees. And after four months, we got our response back, which said, we have nothing. We don't have a memo. We don't have a report. Nothing happened to anybody. We don't have a post-it note on this. Right. And so that was our story last night about where is the accountability. So let's go ahead and take a look at who we're talking about. This is MD when she was a baby. Isn't she darling? Yeah, she was healthy and she had a family, a foster family. Yeah, she she was, had a foster family here yeah, there in she Washington. Is. She's in Lacey here. She's born perfectly healthy. That's her dad, foster dad, Jeff. She also lived with her biological sister, which was incredible. Right. And then the state located who they thought was her dad. This is MD today. She's five. She can't walk. She can't talk. She um, will never be able to feed herself. Yeah. Brain damage because of that assault by the father. Now, what uh, the caseworkers failed to do is some of the basics, Angela, they didn't uh, do a criminal background check. They didn't read the home study done in Texas where they were going to move her to see were there any problems in there. And there were red flags, but they didn't read it. So those things should have sparked an investigation into the employees, but as we found out in our investigation, that didn't happen. And you have, there's a law in the books that says when this kind of thing happens, there's supposed to be an investigation, right? In 2015, we got a law, we helped to get a law passed called Aiden's Act. Uh, there's a little boy named Aiden Barnum from Port Orchard. We did many stories on Aiden. Such a similar sad story. And uh, we found out that in his case, caseworkers did made very, very poor mistakes. And not only wasn't anybody held accountable, but his caseworker was promoted. And so after that, Senator Stephen O'Ban from Pierce County got this law passed which should have sparked immediately an investigation. Right, but it didn't, right? So right. that's what you've been following. And then you also have did an interview last night with Mimdi's original family, or was it, what? tell his, us who it was. His foster parents. Okay. And um, that's another piece of the story that there was no investigation on the social workers who had all these problems mm -hmm. with the case and made so many bad mistakes. But guess who was investigated? That'd be the foster parents. They got in trouble for talking to us in November and it ended up that they had a consequence. Unlike any state worker, they ended up having to forfeit their foster care license. That's infuriating. That's infuriating. Yeah. Are we gonna be able to hear? No, we're, I thought we were gonna be able to hear some. No, no. we're gonna okay. we're gonna move on. Okay, all right, well, Susanna, thank you so much. Sure. Um, I, I hope that something changes now. Me too. All right, appreciate your work.